Hey folks, today I'm going to show you a couple of drills that I've been doing with the putt out pressure putt trainer and the putting mat. Now there's a ton of review videos out there on the internet. I don't need to recap all that kinds of stuff. You can find that out for yourself. Um, but if you do want to grab these, go to the Chicken Sticks Golf Store and I'll put a link in the description. But the drills today that I want to show you, that's really the key. And we want to become as golfers lethal inside of six feet. We want to be very confident standing over those four foot knee knockers, knowing that we can put those in the hole time and time again. And so the drills today that I'm going to show you are going to work on just those things, making you super strong inside of six feet. So let's dive in, let's check out these drills. Now the first thing I like to do when I get the putt out uh, set up is just work on some basic, basic speed. Uh, and basic speed, what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to putt the ball uh, and have it return no further than this second uh, line increment right here. So that's about two feet. So my goal really is to have the ball coming back uh, somewhere within one to two feet. So that's kind of how I start out warming up, just nice easy putts from two feet, looking to get my speed correct. The next thing I like to do is move into a ladder drill. So with the ladder drill, I need to make a putt from one feet, two, three, four, five, and six. And if I miss, then I have to start over. And again, you want to be uh, aware of your distance control. So I'm still, even though I'm trying to make sure I get all these putts in, I still don't want to hit with too much pace. Now, if you have an uneven floor, as you start to get back to three to four feet, you're going to start to need to account for your break. Just a nice, solid golf uh, putting drill. You can do this again in your house. You can do the same drill in the putting green, um, but this lets you get a lot of reps nice and easy at your house. All right, so this next drill is a pace drill. This is all about getting the right speed. So I'm not so much concerned about line here as I am about pace. So we're gonna start up close, and the objective is to place the ball in between the two dotted lines. So this is, a, again, all about speed control. I'm not worried as much about line as I am just getting my speed right. You want the ball to stop in between the lines. You can see I've got a little bit of deck break there as it tails off to the left side. That's all right. Again, worrying more about speed here. You just want it to stop right in between these two sets of dotted lines. When you're comfortable with that, you can move back. A little bit longer putt. And again, this is all pace control. These are for those putts where maybe you've got a tricky downhiller or something where you just want the ball to just kind of die right in the cup. All right, just about perfect. Let's see if I can get all the way back to six feet. All right, this drill is all about working on your starting line uh, and trying to get that starting line just dialed in perfectly. So for this, we're actually gonna move the putt out a little bit closer. We're gonna put it on the end of this line and we're gonna work on hitting the putts down the line, uh, letting the line help us with our alignment to make sure that our stroke is straight and to make sure that we're starting the ball out correctly on a nice straight line every single time. And again, we're gonna work on our speed, making sure we don't have the ball come back too far. You just want a nice, easy putt right down that line. And then when you've got that going, you can take your putt out and you can move it back further. And you can work down that same line with the idea of trying to make the putt. And we'll have to see here, there may be some break because of my deck slope, but we'll give it a try. Not too bad, that'll work. Okay, so that's a couple things you can do with the putt-out pressure trainer and the putt-out mat. Uh, and again, if you like these, if this is something you think, uh, like I do, that can uh, improve your game, help out with your putting, uh, make sure you go to the Chicken Sticks Golf Store, link in the description, pick one up for yourself. And as always, please hit the like button, uh, sign up and uh, subscribe to the channel, help us out here at Chicken Sticks Golf. We want to continue to put out great content and help you become a stress-free, confident golfer that enjoys the game.